Good day. This is Tom from Tom and Ruth Healthy Lifestyle. Do you guys ever get a headache that you can't that's just always pounding and pounding and pounding and pounding? No matter what you do, you still have a headache. You've taken ibuprofen, you've done everything in the world, and I'm no doctor to tell you this, but I might give you ideas that this may help if you have a headache. 20 ideas. Like I said, I'm no doctor, but stay tuned. Take a nap. Maybe sometimes you just need to take a nap. Maybe you took a nap and it didn't help. I've had that happen. Stress reduction techniques, uh, deep breathing, meditation. Sometimes they will say that that helps. <clears throat> I've tried that too. I've had it so bad that I tried everything in the world. And I'm going to tell you what I did uh, toward the end of this that really cured my headache. So stress reduction, take a nap, apply a, a cold compress to your forehead or the back of your neck, avoid loud noises and bright lights. All of us have problems sometimes with the bright lights and noises. Noises, I went out this morning, and uh, as you know, we have a rooster field here now, and a rooster field over there. I got 200 roosters now, he, he, the guy was telling me. So it gets really noisy here, and then a guy over here just uh, started a dog pound, a dog uh, raising German Shepherds for the police department, and he has about 60 dogs. So you just have to keep an eye on things and uh, be prepared for noise. Noise can really affect you. So over-counter pain, such as pain relievers, ibuprofen or aspirin can help. Some people say take a bath or shower to relax your muscles and helps you. A lot of times the steam will help me because a lot of times it's here, but it's my sinuses because of allergies. Here in the Philippines, there's a lot of allergies with all the fruit and all the stuff on the trees. It's always blooming and they never stop blooming. And if you take the time uh, to think about that, and why am I sneezing? I sometimes will sneeze now six or eight times in a row because of uh, they're blooming, they're blooming, they're blooming. They're always bloom, blooming. Uh, they always say that uh, that, that is a, can help you, but a lot of times with all the allergies, and you take allergy medicine and things like that, sometimes you still get a headache. So a lot of times your foods and drinks that will trigger headaches, such as caffeine, alcohol, processed foods, uh, things like that will actually affect you. You don't realize, uh, even good posture, even holding yourself up and your neck and your neck back and exercise your neck, maybe your shoulders to reduce the tension. Uh, some people have uh, actually they get uh, massages to help relieve the stress and their pain and neck. I never ever thought that I would ever be doing massages here in the Philippines or anything like that. I've never had a massage in my life till I come to the Philippines and Ruth has done one. I had another uh, lady do one for me and she actually I thought really hurt me really bad because I was really giving her heck for about a week because she I had a problem my back years ago I hurt my back I fell off of a high building and I hurt my back and it always gave me heck but come to find out I guess I had a knot in there and she worked out the knot but I couldn't walk with that and I couldn't walk and I couldn't walk and I couldn't walk and come to find out she actually massaged that out and I, I tell you what it's it's worth a miracle I I can maneuver around even though I kind of could before but it was always kind of a nuisance. A certain way I would turn, a certain way like this would cause my back to, to, to do it. But if you're actually coming to Asia, of course, great massage therapists there in the States. Some great massage therapists that actually went to school and they could do the stones. And my people, my people, my friends are telling me that they really, really enjoyed having that done with the stones and things like that. It was something really new and nice. Try aromatherapy, essential oils, peppermint and lavender sometimes will break up the sinuses and or smelling that will actually help you. Heating pad, hot water belly to help relax your muscles on your neck and or head. A regular exercise to reduce the tension in your body and improve circulation. A lot of times headaches are caused by your blood vessels and they're either tightening up or constricted for whatever given reason. Could be you slept wrong, your neck turned a certain way. 
could be stress on a job could be just stress in life we always we always tend to try to uh, try to solve our problems ourselves and try to do things ourselves and a lot of times if we just take the time and not get so stressed out about things things sometimes will just work out on their own and we get so stressed about things that causes the headaches which leads into other tension product problems it leads into heart it leads into cardio it leads into your uh, you know, just you do things that aren't right whenever you're not feeling well. If you're not feeling well, you don't think right, so you end up hurting yourself more in the long run. A lot of times, too, uh, regular exercise, avoid skipping meals, uh, can help your blood sugar. Try to always eat something, even if it's wrong, <laughs> eat something. I'm meaning wrong, not wrong mean wrong time, or you don't want to eat. Uh, not eating wrong, like eat a bowl of sugar or anything like that. I'm not meaning that. I'm meaning eat on regular, eat regular time every day. And that will actually help you a lot. A lot of people try acupuncture. Acupuncture to help. Now that is something that I've never had done. I, I maybe should, especially in my hand where it's numb. My whole hand's numb because of an accident I had falling off a roof. But uh, acupuncture might be something someone could look at. Eye strain, frequent breaks. When you're actually a digital device, a computer, sometimes you get headaches because of that. You're not wearing the Blu-rays. These are actually Blu-ray with um, uh, 175 Blu-rays. So uh, sometimes you'll see them different colors. If I turn my head, they're Blu-ray glasses. And uh, I can, and I have regular glasses that I pay a large amount of money for to a lady in town. Then I went to a lady at the mall in CDO, and she did it all, me uh, and Ruth, for 5,000 peso, and got us really nice glasses, which now they're broke. we got to go back. Hermal remedies, such as ginger, which could have been used to treat headaches. Ginger is a really good thing. You can actually take ginger and you boil it. Uh, you can uh, put it, have it with lemon, and it's really good. And it actually relieves stress. Just smelling ginger sometimes will do that. Now, me, personally, I don't like ginger. Uh, it's just something I just don't like. There's a product called Feverview. Feverfew. F-E-V-E-R-F-E-W, which is herbal. <clears throat> and sometimes by spending, just getting your mind off things uh, and relaxing and not really worry about things. And what I mean by that is just going to see friends and family and relaxing and not getting so tensed up about things. Sometimes that can relieve the stress of your head. I uh, know this from my experience in my past. That when I was down and out and I was really tired, I would go see my family. And no matter what, just being in the presence of my family, would I would forget my problems for a little while. That's what they say about, and don't, don't laugh at this, they say the same thing about like going to a theme park or going somewhere. Uh, like going to Disney and or going somewhere, a theme park, maybe if you're here in the Philippines, going to a park and understanding and relaxing, getting, getting your mind off things or the stress of things. Uh, you can escape in that park and relieve stress and you relieve some, some things and sometimes leave that stuff behind, which can stop the headaches. You'd be surprised. Sometimes a simple thing can stop a headache, which you never thought of. I tell you what, I had a stomach ache yesterday. I don't know what I, what caused it. It was bugging me and bugging me and bugging me and bugging me and got to the point to where it was like, I, why is my stomach hurting so bad? I ate normal. I ate my regular food. I normally eat nothing different. I had my coffee. Did I drink too much coffee? You know, I'm answering, trying to figure out what is going on. Well, come to find out, it's just, I had a stomach ache. So I said, oh, I have some mints. I have, you know, those little starlight mints here that somebody sent me from the States, thank goodness. I had about 10 left and I went and grabbed one of those and put it and had it and it was fine. So no worries. I don't have any worries with it. And that's the thing you don't realize. Something as simple as having a mint or something in your mouth can relieve a lot of that. God bless everybody and thank you so much and I appreciate you watching Tom and Ruth Healthy Lifestyle. Was it done today?